Well, our teams have been busy across the country and we want to talk a bit more about the work that they have been doing on this edition of Water Wednesdays, especially at the Bowmanston Pumping Station. It has been a difficult task managing and we know that you residents in some of those rural parts of Barbados have been suffering the effects of some very heavy rainfall, which has led to us stopping pumping at that pumping station. We have the Director of Engineering, Charles Leslie, here to explain this new phenomenon that we are dealing with there. Talk a bit about the work that we are doing to try to avert what we would have seen over the last few weeks. Okay, thank you, Shane. At Bowmanston, as you correctly said, we have an issue with discolored water. Um, this has been happening over a period of time, but what we're finding now has been worsening. The frequency in which we're getting the, the incidence of discolored water are increasing. When we had the discolored water issues, it should just be a couple of days before we could resume pumping. But now because of the, the intense rainfall in a shorter period of time, we're finding that we have to take the station offline for a longer period of time. Based on the, the research that we have done, this seems to be um, still coming from cultivated lands up, upstream in the catchment, as far up as like Clifton Hall and Small Town, East Mount. All of those areas seem to be con contributing to the issue where the sediment, the silt from the, the cultivated lands is being washed down into um, sinkholes and so forth in the oh. in the area okay. um, and once this gets into those sinkholes it gets into the underground stream and then that creates the what we call the turbidity the scientific name for it is turbidity by just the cloudiness of the water in the coming months we have plans to do remedial work we're going to be looking at the cleaning of one of those sinkholes it's in the pool gully area so we're looking at cleaning wells over there cleaning a, a dam that we had installed and rebuilding and reconstructing that dam. This dam is made of gabion baskets and it will have like, um, it's basically like it's going to be a strainer to prevent some of that Ooh. material from getting into the, the, the Bowmanston area. And once we've completed that, then we will move on to dealing with cleaning um, the Bowmanston Reservoir again, doing rehabilitative work on that reservoir and also, um, if necessary, cleaning the stream again, Wilmington stream again. What has been causing all of this is the activity, the above ground activity that is happening upstream in the in the catchment. The work that we are looking to do is, is, is to start in February next year, since that's going to be the beginning of the dry season. The, to do this kind of work in the rainy season is, is very risky because you risk worsening the situation before um, you can correct it. We have to look at how we deal with storm water management. Um, that's going to be critical. Um, and our ministry of public works is even looking at new designs for dealing with the drainage and so forth because with the climate change, um, you're, you're supposed to get intense showers. And what we've witnessed in Barbados is that our rainfall season has been compressed. So when it would have started in June, right yeah. now we are seeing it starting in like October. But you get in relatively the same amount of rain, but in a shorter time period. So we're asking the customers to bear with this. So we're starting the work in February, um, and this work will will go through um, the entire um, period next year. Um, and they, once this is completed, they should see improvements. But we will still be continuing to monitor and look at you know whatever improvements we need to add to that. To, correct the discoloration problem at Bobiston. Well, we are an independent nation, but we are still definitely depending on the rainfall to help continue that flow of water through the taps to you, our customers. Thank you, Director of Engineering, Charles Leslie, and thank you for watching another edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. You're going to go to our Facebook or Instagram pages for additional content and information. And please subscribe to our Water Wednesdays channel on YouTube. You can find us there. And happy independence, Barbados.